Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. Today's video is going to be about testing the fuel system. I'm testing the pressure and I'm testing the stability of how the fuel is uh, being managed in my fuel system. So first we're going to find a baseline, basically what that fuel pressure should be. And for that we're going to look in these two wonderful books that I recommend and open them up and see what that fuel pressure should be. Okay, in the Bentley, Bentley manual, page 20-7, the pressure reads right here, 3.8 bar or about 55 PSI, plus or minus, okay? Well, it's page 198 and it reads 3.8 plus or minus at about 55 PSI, plus or minus, okay? So now we know what the pressure should be. All right, we're out of the car. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my basic setup. Of course, of course safety first. I have this little uh, fire extinguisher here. So this is where the fuel test port is located. Right, right here, okay? So I'm gonna be connecting up this blue line to that. And then I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod so you can actually watch the actual pressure. Now I'm going to be inside. I'm cheating. I'm going to use the durometric. <laughs> so I'm going to use the relay. I'm going to do the relay uh, jumper wire and all that. I'm just going to come in here and I am going to activate right here. You see where it says fuel pump relay final stage. I'm just going to go over there, start and stop. And uh, so you don't need to see me click that. That's why I'm not going to worry about trying to copy my screen. And I'm just going to set you guys up out here so you can watch the gauge and also so I can see the results myself. All right, so I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod and I'm going to test that fuel pressure. All right, it's all hooked up and I'm going to go and activate the fuel pump. I'm gonna make sure it's not leaking, so it's not leaking. And that looks like pretty close to 55, 60 PSI to me. So I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna see if it holds press. Uh, you know what? It's leaking out of my little freaking gauge a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's leaking out of the damn gauge. Oops, I shouldn't have said damn. Sorry about that. Damn it. Okay. Got to tighten up the gauge. All right, tightened up my gauge. Let's try it again. All right, everything seems to be holding nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fuel pump off and see if I get leaked down. Still not completely confident that it's not the gauge that's doing the leaking though. Uh, sucks. As a matter of fact, it is the gauge. I see it down here. Dang it. Okay, Titan number two. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the fuel pump again. Okay, so we're getting good pressure. That's gonna tell me that the fuel pump itself is doing its job. I wanna see if the pressure regulator is doing its job and if there's any other leaks in the system if I can get my gauge to hold pressure. I'm gonna turn it off 
and see what happens. Okay, so I got my gauge sealed up and it's holding a lot better, see? It's holding a lot better. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a while and come back in like 30 minutes or so and see where we're at. All right, I said 30 minutes, but it's been like an hour because I got distracted and it still has like 30 PSI, so I'm not even sure I don't know. I just I don't know. So we're gonna do the running test too. I'm gonna run it and see if the needle fluctuates or it holds fairly steady. So that's the second test I'm going to do, and I'm gonna let you guys watch the um, needle while it's running because uh, I don't need to use the durometric for that. I just start the car and see what happens. So here goes. <coughs> Oh yeah, that is signature. Fuel pressure regulator is bad. It is not holding cons holding steady. So that little guy is going to be changed. So we'll change out the fuel pressure regulator and see how everything runs from there and see if the uh, the misfires go away. So that's where we're at. Thanks for watching.